Hi, I'm Ulysses Dietz. I'm the interim co-director and the chief curator emeritus of the Newark Museum. Today we're going to go inside the Ballantine House and show you why this place matters. Part of the Newark Museum since 1937, the Ballantine House was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1985. Built in 1885 for Jeanette and John Ballantyne of the Newark beer brewing family, this mansion originally had 27 rooms. The Ballantine House includes 10 period spaces and six thematic galleries containing objects from American homes that represent the period from the 1650s to the present day. The period rooms in the Ballantine House are restored to represent the year 1891, nearly six years after the family moved in. The period rooms on the ground floor of the house represent a case study of what the ideal home meant in America over a century ago. The first floor rooms include the reception room, the parlor, the billiard room, the library, the music room, and the dining room. Upstairs, three rooms have been restored as period spaces, the master bedroom, Mrs. Ballantyne's boudoir, and their daughter Alice's bedroom. Other rooms in the Ballantyne House's second floor are used as galleries. In these galleries, objects from the museum's decorative arts collection illustrate various themes relating to the changing concept of home from the late 1600s to the present. Join us next week as we explore some of the treasures in the galleries in the Ballantyne House.